Hello everyone, welcome to Mock Bank. This is the second video of subject and verb agreement series. We are going to discuss this very important rule over here that mostly comes in the examination. This rule says that pronouns neither and either are similar and even if you get confused that they are going to represent two things they actually are taken as similar so let us try to read this this example over here it says that neither of the two traffic lights is working now this is the whole lot of subject clause. Now we are talking about two traffic lights and none of them is going to work or is working. Since we have used neither and neither is a singular proverb, say pronoun not proverb, it is singular pronoun over here we are going to use is we cannot use R because none of the lights is working so neither of the two traffic lights is working it cannot be R now the second example is which shirt do you want for Christmas either is fine with me so this is the question and this is the answer since either is singular over here we must be using is not are so what did we learn from this particular slide that neither neither and either both of them are singular pronouns and hence they should be taking singular verbs that is is most of the cases now let us see another rule now this is where things start getting complex or say complicated it says that neither and either sometimes take plural verb when these pronouns are followed by a prepositional phrase beginning with of now try to see this it says that either of you in both of the cases so we have used though we have used either over here now this is the phrase either of you over here this should be taken as plural and hence we are going to use have and are and mostly this prepositional phrase rule is going to work only in interrogative sentences that's it so wherever you get either of you neither of you and interrogative sentences yes you need to have a plural verb or say helping verb i hope you're getting this rule now this is something that always confuses it says that now before going and reading the rule I am going to read this problem it says that either my father or my brothers are going to sell the house now there are two things that are being connected with this with either or or we have got we have got neither nor right n i n a i t h e r neither nor now what we have got there are two things that are being connected my father and my brothers over here with neither and nor what is that i'm going to use my brothers and my father now let us read the rule over here it says that the conjunction or does not conjoin when nor or all is used in the subject closer to the verb that is going to determine 
what is going to be the verb so my with my father with my father and my brother which is closer to the verb which is closer to the verb this is this is our going so go is your main verb r is your helping verb out of my father and my brothers which is closer my brothers is closer and since my brothers is plural we are going to use r we should not be using is now let us read the second example it says that neither my brothers nor my father out of my brothers and my father which is closer to the verb which is closer my father is closer and hence my father not my father in fact over here the father that has been used my father is going to decide what should be the helping verb now over here it is it is going to be is because my father is closer to the verb than that of my brothers isn't it now let us read the third rule or say third example are either my brothers or my father responsible so which is closer over here can you see this my brothers is closer to this thing and hence it cannot be is it has to be are and the same goes with the last example is either my father or my brothers responsible so my father is closer to this thing and since we are going to use helping verb at the beginning of the sentence since these last two sentences are written in interrogative format and hence we will be using helping verb at the beginning of the sentence so in the in the in this case my brothers should be deciding what should be the helping verb that is r and in the last case my father is closer and hence it should be deciding what is going to be the helping verb i hope you are getting this i'm going to see in you in the next video in this video we learned three very important rules and most of the time this is what you get in your real examination we will be doing some more practice in the next video thank you for watching this bye bye and take care